Let's take a look now at a party with growing ambitions to make their mark here in the East Midlands. UKIP are fielding more candidates than ever. BBC Radio Leicester's political reporter Tim Parker reports. UKIP was set up as a movement to remove the UK completely from Europe in 1993 following Britain's signing of the Maastricht Treaty. And while their greatest success has been in Europe itself, they're currently canvassing across the East Midlands ahead of this week's county council elections. Good morning. Can I give you a free newspaper for the local elections? There we go. Thank you. Many commentators suggest that UKIP's main support will come from disgruntled Tories. So why is MEP Roger Helmer campaigning here in Colville in northwest Leicestershire? It's all part of their attempt to reach a wider electorate. Colville's a former mining town, not natural Tory territory. We're certainly going to win seats. I don't want to make any predictions about how many seats we're going to win, but we are going to win seats in Leicestershire, across the East Midlands, across the country. Because, of course, we're standing in three quarters of the seats across the country. For us, that's a first. It's an enormous achievement. That's the theory, but how's that going down with new voters they're trying to woo? You're not convinced by UKIP's arguments? A lot of what UKIP says is good, but they're not strong enough, are they? There's not enough of them. Do you know anything about UKIP? No. Nothing at all? Never heard of it in my life. So a lukewarm reception, but some experts say UKIP could have a big impact. But where they're going to have their influence is in seats or wards where the Conservatives have got very small majorities. So in one of the Leicester wards, there's a Conservative majority of eight, and the UKIP are standing there. If they split the Conservative vote, the Conservatives will lose seats. So we could, for example, see Leicestershire County Council go from being com comfortably Conservative controlled to becoming a hung council. And that gives UKIP campaigners some confidence. The visit to Colville wasn't without its hitches. Parks in a disabled spot. Shift uh, your car now. It's not my car. But they're hoping for a warmer reception at the polls on Thursday. Bit of argy-bargy there in Colville, but seriously, Stephen, UKIP are a real threat to your party, aren't they? Well, UKIP certainly expressed some public concerns about the matters related to this country's relationship with Europe. That's un indisputably true. What's very unclear to me is what UKIP thinks it's doing, going to be able to do to contribute to that argument uh, by getting involved in the Leicestershire County Council. I don't know what UKIP's view is about the future rate of council tax. I don't know what UKIP's view is about the relationship we were just talking about between social services and the health service. And I have a shrewd suspicion that UKIP does doesn't know UKIP's but view on those you, issues either. But aren't you worried that you are going to, to lose voters to UKIP? I mean, Lord Ashcroft's own poll showed 9% support for UKIP. And when asked, 44% said they'd actually voted Tory in the last election. So they're moving to UKIP. There is evidence that UKIP takes votes from the Conservative Party. There's also a lot of evidence that UKIP takes votes uh, from people who weren't going to vote anyway. In other words, that it's a receptacle for disgruntled people who don't think the political system represents their views. But these are low local elections. The question in dispute uh, on next Thursday will be who determines who sets the council tax, who determines the delivery of local services. And UKIP can't just say we're anti-Europe, please vote for us for the Leicestershire County but Council. John, they've got your party in their sights as well. We saw them there campaigning out in Colville. Yeah, but I mean, I, I can only say a couple of things because we've not got elections in Leicester City. The first thing is, when they stood against me in my by-election two years ago, UKIP got hammered in Leicester South. The second thing is when I've been out listening to people in Loughborough, but also in places like Hucknall, places that put their trust in David Cameron a couple of years ago, voted in Conservative MPs for the first time in 10 years or so, I'm picking up a lot of disappointment with David Cameron and the Conservatives. We in the Labour Party are trying to convince those people to vote for us in these county elections, yes, but not you, UKIP. You say that this is all going to play out on national, on local issues, but let's face it, Gordon Brown called that woman a bigot. When he called that woman a bigot, voters started to not trust your party on immigration. They look to UKIP on that score now. Well, the Labour Party and Ed Miliband has been talking about immigration and we're talking about um, uh, if we were in power, changing some of the rules and some of the immigration uh, uh, systems that are in place, particularly around pay, uh, particularly around the abuse of agency workers and things like that, which I know a lot of voters are concerned about. But I think these elections are actually about the Conservative Party and the Labour Party. I think it's about the mistakes that David Cameron has made on the millionaire's tax cut and things like that and what the Labour Party would offer as an alternative. It's not about UKIP, it's okay. not about the Liberal Democrats.